Now we're going to discuss the ratios, rates, and proportions. So the first question is identifying equivalent ratios. So in this example, we have 5 to 1 and 10 to 4. So they just want to know are they equivalent or not. So one way to find out is you have 5 on the left side here and you have a 10 on this side. Well, if they were equivalent, then that means you could do 5 times 2. That would get the 10. So then you do 1 times 2, and then that would mean that this was 2. So these are not equivalent. So no. So all you do is you take the first number on the left. How many times did you have the multiplier divided to get to the other number that's on the left, and then you do that to the numbers that are on the right, and if they balance out, then it works. So here we have one to blank equals seven to 14. So with the one we did times seven to get that equal to the seven on this side. So here, what did we do? We did blank times seven to get 14. So then that would be two. And that does work because 2 times 7 is 14. So yes, these are equivalent. Now we're talking about unit rates. 15 apartments on three floors is equal to blank apartments on one floor. So we have a bigger number and then we're going to go smaller. So let's divide. 3 divided by 3 does give you the 1. So whatever number you multiply or divide by, you have to do that to the other number. So we're going to do 15 divided by 3. So we're going to say 5 apartments on one floor is equal to the 15 apartments on three floors. So that's all you have to do. You just find, okay, we know here the floors have to be equal and we have three floors to one floor. So we're going to divide 3 by 3 to get that 1. So then we go back to the 15 apartments and we divide that by the th same 3 to get the 5. So that's how it balances out. And then we could do more examples like you can even make one up if you have 1 to 10 equals 3 to some number. For the equivalent ratios, just do 1 times 3 to get the 3, so 10 times 3, so this would be 30. So everything just either balances out. So you're either going to multiply or divide by the same number to get the answers. And I would rewind and watch it again to really get this one.